opioids can help and hurt so many people, and the painkillers can be so easily abused. But for some, they have no choice in their addiction. Babies born addicted to opioids have jumped around the country and here in Utah. Health Quality Improvement Director Julia Johnson says Utah's percentage quintupled over the last 10 years. This year, we've just put some variables on the Utah birth certificate that hopefully are going to allow us to be able to look at illicit drug use, opioids, which are heroin, heroin and opium versus prescription drugs like Percocets and Vicodins and those types of things. But historically, they've kind of been lumped together. And I think the main reason for their increase is the increase in the prescription of prescription opioid drugs. Johnson says doctors should not be completely blamed. Doctors are definitely trying to help whether these are uh, the prescribing drugs for chronic pain that women experienced before um, they became pregnant or whether it's pain that they're experiencing during pregnancy. You know, there's a lot of different symptoms. Um, prescribe prescribing doctors just has to be really careful about who they're prescribing to to make sure that they are screening women on their intention to become pregnant, especially if they're women within their childbearing years. So, you know, a doctor might put out a prescription for months or maybe even a year and not have screened that woman that she's been trying to get pregnant. And that's sometimes where we run into problems. Johnson says women who are in their childbearing years should be prescribed drugs at lower doses.